chances are, if you have watched any big streamer in the past year, you've probably heard one of two things. This game sucks, Brigitte is busted, or actually scratch that, it's both. And it isn't just one streamer either, it's a constant occurrence. Okay, maybe the game is in a pretty bad state, but that is outside of my domain to fix, so let's talk about Brigitte. Most people recognize Brigitte as overpowered at the higher ranks, but that doesn't exactly translate to the lower ranks. As a matter of fact, she seems to do a lot worse at lower ranks. I'm a top 500 player, and I have lost games as Brigitte in bronze, and that has to say something about the character. Or maybe the person behind the character. Why is it that Brigitte is so good at higher ranks, and why is the second culprit of hate immediately Zenyatta, who is oftentimes paired with her? Doesn't this composition lack healing? There are obvious problems here, right? While it might seem like this on the surface, you have to recognize the other characters that are played alongside the duo, as well as the insane damage potential they both provide. The Zenberg Ball composition is no doubt the most powerful in the game currently. However, it is also arguably the most difficult one to play, and that is why I present to you Zenbrig for Dummies. Let's start things off with the composition. The characters commonly included in this composition are Wrecking Ball, D.Va, Tracer, Sombra, Zenyatta, and Brigitte, with some switches depending on the map. Sometimes teams will switch the Sombra out for Hanzo, Ash, and Echo. On maps like Ilios Ruins, a team would likely run a Sombra Tracer variant, while Eichenwald first opens up opportunities for Echo, and King's Row does the same for Ash. The reasoning behind these character choices are pretty fundamental to the composition and what they are trying to do. A common misconception is that this composition is a dive composition, which it is not. This composition functions with ideas that are almost completely on its own. The goal is to surround the enemy from multiple different angles, collapsing on different targets one at a time through a unit system, making up four different units. The Wrecking Ball and Tracer typically function as one unit, the other DPS as another, the Diva as her own unit, and lastly, the Zenyatta and Brigitte as a unit. The best way to visualize the way the unit concept functions is by reviewing the 2021 Grand Finals VOD of the Atlanta Rain versus the Shanghai Dragons. See how the dragons surrounded the rain, almost creating a circle around them. Diva is important to understand as she allows the Zenyatta and Brigitte to rotate through difficult terrain, allowing for the duo to get to specific advantageous positions. In this case, Diva has to be in a position where she can support the ball and tracer to get aggressive, but also be in an area to support the Zen and Brig when needed. Besides that, Zen and Brig can look to get aggressive and walk in when certain opportunities are provided allowing them to do so. These moments are incredibly situational, making them difficult to explain. But let's take a look. Before this image, both teams were at full HP, and in the matter of only a few seconds, the dragons are cleaning up the enemy. What you have to understand is that Brigitte with a healing orb is a menace, especially with Zenyatta behind her. Cassidy was just killed, and it was with the incredible teamwork between Izayaki and Lee Jagon. Understanding this one image is enough to understand the entirety of the composition. I don't want to delve in too much deeper in order to keep the guy digestible, but why is this concept so strong and why is it so hard to pull off? This composition is strong because of the same reason it is so hard to pull off. The problem is that Brigitte easily makes up for Zenyatta's weakness of being a glass cannon. The defensive efficiency of Bash and Whipshot combined with Inspire allows Zenyatta to be played with Tracer consistently without fail, creating a solid threat with Discord. Zenyatta is constantly viewed as the problem by many main tank players, but it is important to look deeper into the problem, understanding that Brigitte is the enabler. Even though this duo is so strong, it isn't without its own challenges though. Even though Brig can protect Zen, you still have to actually do it, which is difficult even if it is the most efficient. Also consider the fact that Brigitte has to understand the times when she can get aggressive or not. It is a constant balancing act that is incredibly hard to master. Brigitte has to rotate the Zen to different positions on the map in order to surround the enemy, with no two maps having the same rotation. That means Brigitte and Zenyatta players need to learn 21 maps, not to mention that they also need to learn how to react to different compositions, making each rotation slightly different. Surrounding the ball composition in a mirror where both teams are playing the same heroes is very difficult to pull off as compared to a brawl composition. In the middle of the fight, the Zenyatta player has to avoid using the Discord orb selfishly and allocate it to the optimal targets for the team to destroy destroy, which isn't always the enemy's support. He as well as his friendly Brigitte need to know when to kite backwards when the enemy has the opportunity to close the distance on them, and vice versa when an opportunity arises with Rally or Transcendence, making sure they don't use both at the same time. Also understand that Zenyatta and Brigitte are not the best single target healers on the planet. The Wrecking Ball player has to understand that the less poke he takes before the fight, the better, as well as understanding that he is playing to displace and surround as opposed to slamming 24-7. So, 
That was a lot, and here are the big things that you have to know before you leave today's video. First, you are not on a dive composition. The playstyle is incredibly unique and requires an immense amount of practice to refine. Surrounding the enemy, no matter the composition, is essential to victory. You have to understand how different units interact with each other. Coming up second, healing is slim. It is essential to understand that Wrecking Ball doesn't take too much poke before the fight starts, or else the entire composition will crumble. Keep the Zen Orb on the ball to heal the minor poke he does take, along with picking up health packs along the way. On top of this, understand that Brigitte will primarily keep up the DPS with her packs, and Zen will keep the tank line healthy. High mobility makes this possible. And lastly, understand when it's time to step. When the fight starts, the healing orb goes to the Brig, and look for opportunities to get aggressive and carry the fight. If you're going to play Zen and Brig, make sure to actually utilize Zenyatta's damage. If you fail to do this, there is no reason for you to play Zen instead of Ana. If you followed me up to here, you finished the Zen Brig for Dummies Guide. Many intricacies of this composition have been left out of this video, so if you have questions, let me know. Even though these concepts were left out, the information presented is the perfect way to start your learning of the composition, putting you ahead of 99% of the player base that still don't know how to play these characters together. This composition is incredibly difficult, and this guide won't necessarily make you a god either, but it will provide you the building blocks for you to learn. If you did find value in today's guide, I would appreciate it if you showed your support by liking the video and continuing considering subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time guys, I've got a peace out and paz out. I'll see you in the next one.